photo is the first time in the history of, uh, motor, of Grand Prix motor racing that all the teams have come together. You know, we've got a great sport, but we know it can be better. We know that if the teams work together, we can develop the sport, we can make it more interesting, we can make it more dynamic, we can make it more sustainable, more secure. The idea of FOTA was to come together, frankly, before the financial meltdown of the world, and it was a commitment by the teams to let's see how we can improve the sport. FOTA set out to conduct first proper audience surveys, which were an exciting piece of work. And the first time we went out, didn't just ask the ardent fans, we asked people with a passing interest in Formula One. What is it they wanted from Formula One? How could we make it better? What did they want from the show? What did they want from the technology? I think the that process started to challenge, perhaps uh, wrongly, uh, in the minds of the commercial rights holder and the governing body. And inevitably, there led a, a difference of opinion and philosophy as to how we should take the sport forward. Um, recently, that's culminated in some agreements, uh, which has meant that some of the proposals which were unacceptable to the teams have been dropped. And hopefully, it's the start uh, and there's no absolute in Formula 1, it's a complex business with all sorts of egos and politics, but hopefully it's part of a process where we can now start to build and work together, not just the teams, but the governing body and the commercial rights holder to improve the sport. Uh, so what does that mean for the fans? Hopefully it means that we'll be more actively listening to them. A lot of changes have occurred in Formula 1 over the recent years, haven't really taken into account the wishes of fans, we haven't properly uh, brought those into the, the thought process and, and hopefully in future we'll see much more of that. Next season there were proposals that we had a two-tier Formula One system. This would be new entrants, would be on a different set of technical regulations and they were surprisingly complex and different from those of the teams that are currently in Formula One. Clearly that would have been, in our mind, uh, confusing to the fans. How do they understand that one set of teams racing in the same race are on a different set of regulations to the other set of teams? So what has been agreed is that we should have a unified set of regulations. That seems fairly straightforward to us, but that took something to achieve. Uh, and we now have a process where uh, we're, a range of measures have been introduced to make sure that the sport is sustainable. It's not just a spending contest, it's about who can be most innovative, who can uh, be most responsive and who can do the best job. And that's what the sport should be about.